It's Canadian tax season and here on Money Awesomeness we're going to be doing a four part tax series. Today we're talking about tax brackets. What's your tax bracket and what that actually means. So here's the info you've all been waiting for, the marginal tax rates. This is for Canada and Ontario. If you live in another place, your tax rates will be different, but the calculation of your taxes will be the same. Today we're going to use an example of somebody who makes $44,000 a year. And normally people think that they would just take $44,000 and multiply it by 31.15% because that's the tax bracket you'd be in, but they'd be wrong. So being bumped into the next tax bracket isn't as catastrophic as most people think, and I'm gonna show you why. Here's how taxes are actually calculated. The first $39,020 of everyone's income, regardless of what you make, is multiplied by the first marginal tax rate, which is 20.5%. So this person on the first portion of their income owes $7,999.11 of tax. So now we've gone into the next tax bracket, which is 24.15. So here we need to figure out how much of our income is actually taxed at that level. So we use the upper part of that tax bracket, which is 42,707 minus the last tax bracket, which would be 39,020. So you can see that only 3,687 of this person's income is taxed at a higher level at 24.15%, as opposed to the vast majority of it, which was taxed at only 20.5. We're still not at $44,000 worth of income, so we are going up to the next tax bracket, and this is what people live in fear of all the time. But you'll see that 44,000 minus 42,707 means that only $1,293 of this person's gross income is actually being taxed at 31.15%, not the whole $44,000. So you can see that only the small upper portion of your income is actually taxed at that next tax bracket. So you don't have to worry if you're getting a raise that your whole income is going to be taxed higher. It's just the part that puts you over. So I hope that that helps to clear up any confusion. And if you want to calculate your own marginal tax rate, which I totally think you should, you can nerd out and by going below and actually clicking on the link to my blog. So join us next week. We're talking tax deductions and tax credits, what they are and which ones can help you lower your tax bill. You should subscribe if you want to nerd out. If sometimes you like to calculate your marginal tax bracket when no one's looking, even if it's not even tax season like I do.